Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's um, topic is going to be an Excel quick tip and I am going to show you how to sort your um, worksheets in alphabetical order which is not a default um, option. So in order to do that Microsoft has actually provided a macro that you can do that with and how to how to do that. So you see down here I've got um, several states but they're not in alphabetical order so a lot of times you have to sort you know you could have you know tens or hundreds of uh, worksheets that uh, you might want to sort because they've been added in some sort of a random order so with that said in order to um, add the macro you can do it a couple different ways you can um, go to the developer tab and click visual basic or let me close out of that or you can just hit um, alt f11 all right and that'll bring up the developer tab that'll bring up visual basic I mean um, by the way, if you are missing the developer tab, uh, it is under the, uh, I did another quick tip for this, but it's under file, options, customize ribbon, and then check the developer um, tab over there, developer box, and click OK, and it should add it. All right, so I'm going to go back into the Visual Basic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, Excel here, and I am going to insert a module and then I am going to paste in this code that's provided by Microsoft and I'm going to make the sheet available for download. I'm sure you can do a Google search and find it out there but uh, if you want to download it you can just download it from my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and go to the Excel tab and look um, search for the um, sort uh, quick tip. Anyways, uh, all I need to do now, so I've got that I've got that in my code in there and I go to I click the run button here and you can see what happens here it gets a pop up and it says sort sheets in descending order and we'll click no it'll sort them in descending order you can see it starts with F then an A then a T then a C so if I say yes it runs it and now I'll go back to my sheet and now you can see they're all in alphabetical order which is nice and quick and easy now I'm going to go ahead and save this so it saves the macro with it. Um, if you don't want to save it as, um, so I would need to save it as a, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to need to save this as a macro enabled um, workbook, which is, where's it at, right there, um, in order to save that. If I were to, if I didn't want to save the macro, I could just save it and say no, I don't want to save it, and it would just delete that, um, delete that Visual Basic code. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for joining, and please subscribe. Take care.